first day of competition is over. Any big surprises or any expected results for you, or is that pretty much the way that you expected things to go yeah. today? So no big surprises. This was all uh, the way I expected it to be. Um, maybe I had about the 400 uh, individual medley men. Um, I like to have on the third place Kevin Wedel under um, my qualification time. I would like to see that. Uh, the qualification time was 4.19 uh, and a little. And he did 4.20, so he isn't in the team right now. But he has another uh, chances, so maybe he does it over about 200 medley or whatever. Yeah. So, um, do you already have like some spaces on the team, like maybe reserved for some, some people? Because, you know, Paul Biedermann is swimming, Steffen Deibler is swimming. Yannick Lippert, the biggest names that we have in German swimming on the men's side right now. So, are they can they be secured on the team, or do they still have to work for it? I think they still have to work for it a little bit, but uh, they have to qualify like everyone else. So they have to uh, to bring the, the times we want them to bring. But if they do so, um, that shouldn't be a problem for them because they are so good that uh, this is very easy for them to do. Yeah. So after the last year or the last couple of years with the world championships last year and everything, it was pretty disappointing. So um, what, what's your, your strategy to like build up a team again after such a year? It's like, because you, you, you can go like, okay, we have the European championships in our own country. We cannot to say and like this, embarrass ourselves. Yeah. Um, so how, how do you get this message through to the team because the, yeah. in case there might be somebody who didn't get it? It's difficult because uh, first of all we have to face that there are n not really new faces in the team uh, which can reserve uh, people like uh, Britta Steffen. She, she quit and uh, there's a, yeah, we miss her. So uh, it's, it's complicated for every medley and uh, of course for, for single races. Uh, but I think we have two ways to handle it. The, the first way is we have a youth team and we push it very much. So um, I think this youth team will be able to, to fit in, this, uh, in the big steps from the, from the older ones in a few years, not right now. And we have uh, the older ones like Leipert, Steibler, Biedermann, etc. And um, I think they are still good enough to win medals at the Europeans. So we have to, uh, to see two sides of the story. The first one are the oldest ones, uh, the older ones, and the second part is the younger ones, we have to push them. So what, what are you expecting from the European Championships here in the country? I mean, already the, the atmosphere here today was pretty great. Um, so, and then obviously bigger venue for the European Championships. What do you expect from it, from, from the audience side, from the team side, maybe from the comp competitor side, because uh, France, Spain, they're coming here with like massive teams. Yeah. So uh, what, what, are you, like, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> what are your expectations for that? Yeah, I, I like this, uh, the idea that we have a, a very big um, competition pool and um, that there are a lot of spectators. Uh, hopefully the, the most of them are German and uh, they will push our swimmers in a position they never had before. It's like if you go to the uh, start and you hear your name, you hear your country and um, thousands of people are screaming Germany or your name, that, that should push everybody. And um, I hope that uh, we can, we can um, have good results there and uh, these good results give us the self-confidence for the next two years uh, to go like this to Rio. Okay, thank you.